Good morning. On behalf of the Economic Development Panel, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all the deputations and the government team for coming to the meeting today. Um, in relation to the government's proposal to establish a new principal fairway in North Lantau, um, you will be giving us your comments. And if needed, you can put on your APs and you can choose the uh, language you would like to have. There are different uh, channels. Um, channel 1 is floor. Channel 1 is Cantonese. Channel 2 is English. And Channel 3 is Butonghua. And I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that apart from the um, legislators and also government officials attending the meeting, the deputations attending the meeting, um, your views and your verbal representations here at the meeting will not be protected under the Electrical Powers and Privileges Ordinance. Um, uh, CAP 382, um, you will not be protected under that um, ordinance. And I would like to um, bring to you the attention the security measures as listed in the matters to note for members of the public attending meetings in meeting rooms of the electrical complex and those observing meetings in the public galleries. And the relevant information has been attached uh, to the letter sent to you by our secretariat, and it's also been tabled in front of you. If you are not very clear about that, and if it is not, if you don't find that piece of information in front of you, uh, we can give you um, another copy of that information. Now, I would like to invite the deputations in individuals to speak one by one. You will be given five minutes each in accordance with established practice. And the uh, EDP will upload um, your submissions onto our website and also distribute the same to um, the panel members. So when you speak, you should only highlight the salient points in your submission, and you don't have to repeat everything in your submissions. And if you haven't given us a written submission, you can um, submit um, the, the, your submission to us later on. So because we have simu simultaneous interpretation, so if you speak, don't try to um, say something in Putonghua, say something in Cantonese and English, then that would make it very difficult for the simultaneous interpretation. So please uh, speak in, say, pure Cantonese or pure English. That would be better. So first of all, I would like to invite Mr. Kong Chiu Fai. Thank you, Chairman. This is about the proposal to establish a new principal fairway in northern Atlanta, what we call the Western uh, Principal Fairway. We have met with the Marine Department, and they have consulted us on the same. The Marine Department is uh, responsible for marine matters, and so at that occasion, we couldn't express um, the fishermen's uh, concerns at that meeting. I'm sure the Marine Department will reflect the views to um, different government departments, but this, it seems that this is the only occasion where we can voice our concerns. Now, based on one simple fact here, of course, the government is uh, responsible for planning um, for um, livelihood and economic issues in Hong Kong, and the government has every right to do that. But for uh, marine projects, especially um, in relation to this fairway. And uh, this uh, proposal is un so very unfair to the fishermen. Now, um, ma marine um, projects are properly governed, and um, there will usually be some compensation for the fishermen. There will be communication channel um, for the fishermen to talk to the government. But in relation to the uh, destination of this principal fairway, when we talked to the Marine Department, the MD was uh, saying that um, there was this uh, precedent and there was no special arrangement in the past for us, the fishermen. I found it very strange. Well, I don't want to make a distinction between um, land projects and marine projects. Uh, the government should treat both the same. But it seems that for, say, land development projects and their planning, there will be 
say um, some banner hang up telling people that if such projects will affect your interest, then uh, you can voice your concern. And we presume that uh, once we voice our concern, there will be a response from the government. But in relation to marine um, planning, um, the prin principal fairway, there of the fishermen's uh, interest um, have not been given due regard. Um, we've been fishermen for generations, and I think they have uh, disregarded the fishermen's interest. I'm not there to uh, blame the Marine Department because after some incidents, the Marine Department has been working hard to um, overhaul the system, to make amends, and so on. But in this regard, for this particular principal fairway, can some senior government officials come to explain to the fishermen? Well, you just now, you, you, you can't use a pretext that there has not been done in the future and then use that as an excuse not to consult us. No, you have to face up to the um, issues or the problems uh, faced by us. I urge the Legislative Council, which is a very important body to monitor the government, to help reflect our views to the administration, because um, there is a ban on uh, certain songs, uh, uh, a ban on fishing in 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 this area. And two years ago, we have this uh, registration system, and the fishermen have been issued a license to do fishing, and we can fish anywhere except uh, in the prohibited. Uh, songs or no fishing songs, and we can fish legally. This is um, a right enshrined in our license. And now you are, um, well, my understanding that this principle far away is to be a no fishing song. I understand that you need to enhance or uphold a navigational safety, but for the fishermen, definitely, we are losing um, another piece of water body um, for fishing. Now there is another worry. If um, the government can um, do it like this by a legislative approach, well, let, maybe I will be um, taking this perspective of a conspiracy theory that as long as the government uh, designates a certain water bodies as uh, principal fairways, then fishermen will not be allowed to fish there. So I hope that the literal can uh, bring the fishermen's concern to the um, attention of the administration. Next, Mr. Chen Taiki. Thank you, Chair. Uh, I speak on behalf of MKK Marine Services Limited. We do not have a Chinese name. Sorry about that. Um, we take care of two environmental vessels for the government. We take the contaminated sludge to Nimwan for treatment. Now let me come back to the topic before us. I think um, the fairways have been designed uh, for 40 years and then um, for the original Armstrong Road Fairway, it was designed more than 40 years ago, mainly for the CLP power station. We have got the Ching Mao Bridge, uh, the new airport. We have got uh, half a million of people living in Tun Bun, 100 to 200,000 people living in Tong Chong. We are now building the third runway. We have the new Sherco Port. And then uh, a lot of traffic flying between Hong Kong and the Pearl River Delta estuary. And there is also the um, ferry uh, going to the Sky Pier. So a lot has changed with the new airport. We have um, the need to ask the larger vessels to avoid boy uh, the airport because of the height restriction. The traffic at the Pearl River Delta 
estuary is very crowded. We have 500 to 600 river trade ships, and we've also got passenger vessels going to uh, Pearl River Delta estuary. Um, it is already very congested. Therefore, we need to um, rationalize the fairways, in particular for the Shoko port for vessels, especially the container um, vessels going there. They are the uh, largest uh, container ships in the world, and they find it difficult uh, to maneuver. So um, we are in support of the assignment of a new principal fairway. Seven or eight years ago, there were a number of serious uh, marine accidents resulting in fatalities. Therefore, we support the banning of uh, fishing activities. Still, we have to take care of the needs of the smaller vessels, like our smaller vessels, the vessels we take them such to Lim Wan for the government. We have also the smaller vessels flying between Hong Kong and the mainland. There are hundreds of them, and they are um, navigating there all the time. So for us to establish the new principal fairway, uh, we, we mustn't forget the needs. And then we have a huge population in Tun Bun, a lot of people living on the northern shore of Lan Tao. So we have lots of cross traffic uh, needs, and this mustn't be forgotten. We have to make use of high end technology to monitor the situation, like digital radar and also automatic identification system. Instead of relying on the VHF, you have to shout all the time. I think it is a matter of uh, pollution in terms of our airwaves. Let me say this once again. We are in support of rationalizing the fairways in northern Lantau. We hope that the government can do the job properly, and I hope there will be more publicity for the public so that they know better what the arrangements are like. Thank you. Next, Mr. Xu. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Members. Um, I'm the spokesperson for the day B in economic affairs. We have rapid development in the Pearl River Delta region. Marine traffic is busy. Now the government would like to establish a new principal fairway in northern Lantau. And then for vessels passing under um, the two um, connecting uh, bridges, uh, there will be height restriction. Basically, we do not object to the proposals. What we are saying is that for the Harpan Fairway and the Mao Wan as well as uh, Capturing Moon Fairway, where we have the junctions, we have reservations about the fishing uh, prohibition zone. For you to have a principal fairway to the north of Lantau, this is for the sake of navigational safety. However, at the same time, for such principal fairways, you're going to prohibit fishing activities. It means that the fishing grounds of the fishing industry will be reduced. Well, we have a lot of uh, mega infrastructural projects. We have the um, marine parks and we have the anchorage uh, areas. In other words, um, we have a reduced area for fishing. For you to introduce an additional fishing prohibition zone, you are reducing the capacity. Now, if you want to go ahead with the establishment of the principal fairways, you mustn't forget the uh, comments of the community. You have to take the overall interest into account. The DAB is of the view that we have been very successful in terms of our economic development. This is all because of the contribution of all the sectors in Hong Kong. The government cannot, for the sake of resolving a traffic problem, um, 
squeeze out the uh, space、um, for the fishing industry. I think you should also set up a working group to look at sustainable. Um, development of our fishing industry, so they come up with a proper policy, and then our fishing industry can develop healthily. Lastly, the DAB is also concerned about the high-speed ferry service. I hope that you can talk to the relevant operators so that、um, you come up with a better plan, so that the high-speed ferry routes、uh, will not、uh, conflict with the principal fairways. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Xu. Next, Mr. Yang Shengchun. Thank you, Chair. Let me state my position. The fishing industry is strongly against the setting up of the fairways as proposed. Towards the end of 2012, there was the Protection of Fisheries Ordinance. It was said that. Our fishing industry will be protected in terms of our operation in the Hong Kong waters. However, what we have seen is that all the time the Hong Kong government is taking the lead、um, to drive us away from our fishing grounds. It is most unacceptable. Today we have the Transport and Housing Bureau here. They are going to establish the principal fairways, and it means that the fishermen will have nowhere to go to fish. Therefore, we have to be here to state our position. For the western waters in Hong Kong, there are already a lot of restrictions. We have the marine parks, etc. In other words, fishermen have found it difficult to go there to fish. It can't be there throughout the year. And for the latest proposal to set up principal fairways, it means that the major fishing ground for our fishermen will be lost. We believe that this is one of the few remaining fishing grounds for us in the western portion. So such a move would be unacceptable, and it means that a thousand fishing vessels will be seriously affected. And according to the government's paper, it is said that for the principal fairways, it is said that since there isn't a physical boundary, so、uh, it is said that it is not possible to quantify the impact of the proposal on fisheries produce. I think from this statement, it shows that the government has actually evaluated. The far-reaching、uh, impacts on our industry. However, the government has not suggested any mitigatory measures for the sake of the fishermen, and、um, the government hasn't come up with any alternative proposals.、Um, I think the fishing industry will be given a serious blow. I think the government is being self-contradictory. The government knows that it is going to impact upon the fishing industry. The government should have uh, uh, considered an alternative proposal. Therefore, the government、um, hasn't、uh, done its job properly. So, what we want to do is to urge legal members. To do the following, please take up our calls on behalf of us to the government and try to press the government to find an alternative option. Please also provide some mitigatory measures for the fishermen. Make sure that、um, you have them in place before you、uh, continue with the discussion of the establishment of the fairways. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Next, Mr. Chen Shukang. Thank you, Chair. Now the government would like to set up a new principal fairway in Northland Town for the sake of navigation and safety. Of course, everybody would like to be safe. Are you saying the fishermen don't need to be、um, protected? We don't need to be safe. Safety is something we all practice. When you're on land, when you want to cross a road, you won't be crossing the road.、Um, 
at your will. You need foot bridges, etc. It may take a longer time to cross the road, but then this is for the safety of the pedestrians, and it is a safer way to cross the road. Mr. Chairman, I've got three questions here. First of all, for the paper given to the electrical by the administration, I don't see any uh, suggestions um, from the Marine Department reflecting the views of Class 3 uh, vessels. For Class 3 vessels, um, we have got our own viewpoints. It is not fair for the administration to skip our opinions because there is a wrong impression that nobody is objecting to the proposal. I think you can't simply uh, include the free for the both comments uh, and dismiss the objections. We are being rational. Um, we are justified in our objections or our disagreement. The second point is that have you ever considered any um, alternative proposals? We have uh, said that maybe you can go to the western part of Lantau from the southern uh, waters, just like uh, t taking a detour on land. In this way, uh, we will be kept there, and then you can also uphold navigation safety. It may, it may mean that uh, the operation cost may have to go up a little bit. It is just a possibility. But then for others coming from outside and not starting from the piers, for you to come from Lantau South and then go to Lantau West, I don't see any increase in the business cost. Mr. Chairman, we work at sea. We know uh, what is involved. So I just wonder if the administration has ever considered any alternative solutions. It seems that the government simply dismisses our uh, requests and say that our ideas are not uh, workable. Even if the cost is to go up, it is still a feasible one. I understand that there are a thousand fishing vessels um, that are operating there. If you ban fishing, then they will lose the rice bowl. So you have to weigh between the two consequences, a slight increase of business costs or breaking one's uh, rice bowls. My third point is, even in the government's paper, it is said that there will be an impact on the fishing industry. However, what the government is doing is that the government is not going to come up with any mitigatory measures. Mr. Chairman, there is bound to be an impact, and yet there won't be any mitigation. So what will happen to our fishermen? How can we make our ends meet? I think the government should find ways to address our hardship. The government should help the fishermen before continuing with the idea. Um, we are the Hong Kong Fishermen Consortium. For us, before the government can think of any solutions, we are against the establishment of a fairway in North Lantau. Thank you. Next, Mr. Choi. Thank you, Chair. Well, I have to say that for the paper issued in April, uh, I think it is somewhat uh, misleading. Many fishermen representatives have already said that, uh, be it at the local vessel advisory committee or the class three vessel uh, subcommittee, we have already voiced our opinions. But the ideas have never been included in the paper. It is said that the majority of the members of the LVAC believe that this will enhance navigational safety and would like to see the early implementation.
However, if you care to read the minutes of the Class Three Vessel Subcommittee um, in um, October 2013 or January 2017, we did voice our um, objecting uh, views. No one would object to enhancement of navigational safety, but the establishment of the principal fairways will deal a serious blow to the livelihood of the local fishermen. Moreover, I want to say that for the topic before us, you know, I have looked up what government officials have said, but I can't agree with them. Uh, at a meeting of the Class 3 Vessel Subcommittee, it was said that um, it will only account for 0.1% of the total waters in Hong Kong in relation to the uh, fairway to be established. So it seems that the conclusion is that the impact on our livelihood will be minimal. In fact, this is not the case. Uh, we have got 164. 4,800 hectares uh, or uh, kilometer, uh, kilometer square waters. I think um, the figures don't work out. It is said that uh, the impact is only uh, going to be minimal because it is going to take up 0.8% of the waters. We have already got the uh, marine park for the Brothers Island, occupying 970 hectares, and then 650 hectares for the third runway system. And then we have got another um, project uh, occupying another 100 hectares. There will be another marine park to compensate for the third runway. We have the um, integrated uh, waste treatment facilities, and then reclamation at Yem, uh, Sunny Bay, etc. Um, and then there will be the artificial island uh, to be established as well. So all the fairways and all the mega projects are concentrated in the western waters. In other words, you have done nothing to help the, uh, the thousand uh, vessels to be involved. And um, in fact, uh, we're losing the fishing grounds. Safety is what everybody wants to uphold. As representatives have said, even the fishing industry would like to enhance navigational safety. But then your proposal is not going to have 0.1% uh, impact on us only. The government mustn't uh, sacrifice the interests of the fishing industry just for the sake of navigational safety. Um, you're going to impact upon us, but you won't even come up with any mitigation. It seems that our um, different views have not been mentioned in your paper at all. If you just go after safety at the expense of the fishing industry, if we lose our rice bowls, then I don't think the society would agree with the government. I hope members can understand this point. Uh, we can put our heads together and discuss the proposal further to minimize impact on our industry while enhancing maritime safety. Next, Mr. Wan Chi Kit. Thank you, Chairman. I uh, speak on behalf of the Hong Kong and Kowloon Motor Boats and Tugboats Association Limited. In relation to the uh, new principal fairway in North Land Tower, I'd like to um, explain the position of our association. We support the establishment of a new principal fairway in North Lantau because navigational safety is of paramount importance. We need to ensure safety of our passengers. And I'd like to explain the uh, structure of our association. Our association uh, comprises members of motorboats, uh, licensed vessels, and tugboats. Our business covers passenger carrier service, tugboat service in uh, recent maritime projects. In recent years, the Pearl River Delta development has tied in with our pace of development, and we understand that uh, the development is rapid, and the uh, therefore the uh, marine traffic is getting uh, 
larger in volume. And the principal fairways in existence were set up 30 years ago. So in the light of recent developments, it is time to make improvements. So there will be three new principal fairways with different names. Armstrong Road Fairway, Castle Peak Ferry, Surrey, uh, etc. And uh, in terms of um, communication, it will be clearer and we support it. And to the east of um, Hanam Fairway and existing Ma Wang Fairway and Capture Moon Fairway at that junction, there will be a ban on uh, fishing activities at that junction. For small vessels, according to the track record of the Marine Department, I mean, there are over 400 ves vessels plying the waters in the area. We're not driving fishermen away from the fishing grounds. However, if marine traffic is so heavy at the junction, if fishing activities are allowed at the same time, it will pose some threat to navigational safety. According to the record, every year on average, there are 35 accidents, marine accidents in the location. So isn't it right to prohibit fishing activities? I think we should be rational in implementing any proposal that can safeguard navigational safety. Finally, on the control of marine traffic, regard must be given to ensuring navigational safety. So all in all, we find it necessary to establish new principal fairways in North Lantau. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wen. Next, Mr. Lee kun -wa. Thank you, Chairman. I represent the Hong Kong Pilots Association Limited. According to the laws of Hong Kong for over ocean going vessels over 3,000 tons, pilotage is required. Over the past 10 years, in the North Lantau Fairways and in the waters at the junction connecting the three fairways, namely the Mawan Fairway, two major accidents happened, one of which resulted in eight casualties, the other resulted in 18 casualties. So it is necessary to prohibit the fishing activities along the fairway because on average every day there are 400 vessels uh, plying the area and also 40 to 50 large vessels plying the junction. Well, it may be easier to maneuver a small vessel, but not so much in the case of large liners. If fishing activities are allowed there, then uh, very easily accidents may happen because they may not uh, be able to dodge us in time. And also because of um, large ocean-going vessels, uh, they uh, they need to use the uh, principal fairway in North Lantau. There was a suggestion whether we could make use of um, the fairway in South Lantau, but the um, seabed isn't deep enough um, and it cannot um, accommodate large vessels. If you transport coal to the uh, power station, then uh, the vessel must navigate along Mawan Fairway and Capture Moon Fairway and also the intersection there so that the water is deep enough to accommodate large vessel coal transporting vessels. In fact, the fairway uh, has existed for over 30 years. The only difference is that it doesn't carry a name. On one occasion, a Ukraine liner failed to navigate um, in accordance with the international navigational law, and an accident occurred. The supply liner of Ukraine sank in the middle of the fairway at the time. And on that occasion,
the principal fairway was uh, just barely wide enough to allow coal transporting vessels to carry coal to the power station. Otherwise, no coal could be transported to the power station to um, generate power for the whole of Hong Kong, and it would it, it would have affected our economy. And there is a pier for um, refueling of oil for the uh, aircrafts of Twin Moon, and uh, it also requires large vessels to carry fuel there. We cannot take the route via Southland Tower because the water is not deep enough, and without the fuel carrier, uh, aircrafts or flights will be affected. And if now we we establish principal fairways there, fishermen will not be able to carry out fishing activities at the location. But in light of the greater good, I think we should allow the principal fairways to be set up first, and the fishermen bodies can then um, per pursue on the matter of compensation. Uh, and relocation because lives of seamen may be affected, our economy may be affected. Marine parks have been set up to protect marine lives, and similarly, principal fairways should be set up to safeguard the lives of seamen. And in those accidents, two of our pilots were sentenced to imprisonment for about 10 days. Uh, they were released on bail, and their cases were um, uh, were uh, taken to the appellate court. Sorry, your time is up. Next, Mr. Uh, Ipkwok Lee. Thank you. I represent Shantec CTS Shipping Management Limited. Let me first introduce the business of our company. The major business of our company has to do with high speed passenger carrying service. And the majority of our vessels would ply the waters in North Lantau to um, the Pearl River estuary or Macau. So on the proposal of establishing new principal fairways in New Lantau, we support it. For the major reason as follows. About marine traffic comparing to a decade ago, things have changed substantially. There are more and more vessels, large and small, using the fairway in North Lantau. The major concern is that there are different practitioners from different trades using the waters in North Lantau, and they have different understandings on collision avoidance rules. Just now, somebody cited a very good example. A Ukraine liner collided with a mainland bulk carrier. They had different understandings of uh, collision avoidance rules. Eventually, the court had to decide which rule applied in avoiding collision. Imagine, we have so many practitioners and vessel masters using the waters. If every time we need to interpret the relevant rules, it will be impractical and dangerous. We therefore support the idea that the principal fairways be established immediately so that we have a clear collision avoidance 
rules, and this is the position of our company. Thank you. Next, Ms. Sh Mr. Xu Yatfeng. Thank you, Chairman. I represent the Fed Keys Steve Dolls Limited. I also support the idea of um, rationalizing principal fairways in Northland Town because I have been in the business of medium sized vessels and small vessels. I was the uh, captain and I w have also been involved in the management of vessels. The fairways should be rationalized because I witness a spate of um, different kinds of incidents, uh, vessels being ground, uh, stranded, and uh, and vessel collision accidents, etc. For small vessels and tugboats near the shore, they don't follow the rules. I'm now in the large vessel business, so I think that. The principal fairways should be rationalized, and not only that, for fairways along the shore, they should also be rationalized. There should be separate vessel um, uh, routes uh, for uh, in Tun Moon in particular. Next, Mr. Wan Chi Kuang. Thank you, Chairman. I represent the uh, high speed ferry company. Our Business involves ferry services uh, between Hong Kong and Macau, and the majority of our vessels also use this fairway. I would like to um, butter up this government. I think that the administration is wise enough to um, settle the matter with the fishermen bodies, but we should understand that this fairway was actually set up 30, 40 years ago um, without clear boundaries. The director of marine is also here. Now, it is impossible to simply scrap the fairway. The only um, proposal that we can do is to um, to enhance it. But along the way, we have sacrificed lives. We have had accidents to safeguard the uh, lives of seamen. We need to do it. And I think you have learned about the accident in the media yesterday, another accident happened. And unfortunately, we do not have anybody responsible for the EIA because they should also listen to us. There is a Chinese white dolphin protection zone along the Umston Road fairway, and the high-speed ferries are required to uh, to uh, slow down the uh, vessel in the zone. And electrical members may not understand how ridiculous it is. If you um, depart from Sky Pier, then we need to uh, slow down the vessel to 15 knots. Uh, along Umston Road Fairway. However, for the same kind of vessel, let's say we depart from the Shuntag Pier or the pier in Chim Sa Choi, we don't need to slow down the high-speed ferry there. How do you explain this logic? How do we explain to passengers why we need to slow down whereas others do not? I think that uh, with Without a com um, without a compromise, uh, well, without any compromises made, it is ridiculous. Now the ACE scrutinizing the EIA should be responsible. They should come and listen to us. And I think that there should be more communication among government departments. So you can go and have a look about what I said. If you ask me, we can't turn back on having this fairway. Just yesterday, well, I said that uh, the government departments are really at a loss when dealing with the trade because uh, we had a high speed ferry traveling from the Sky Pier to Macau and uh, along the fairway, two barges uh, were berthed there, and we uh, asked the airport authority for help in vain, and the marine department was able to help us as we approach them eventually. 
So if the fairway is already in existence, we need to improve it to avoid misunderstanding and accidents, which will cost lives and loss of properties. I strongly support the administration's proposal to establish new fairways. Thank you, Mr. Wen. Finally, Mr. Kwok Wen Kin isn't here, so Mr. Lang Kwok Hong will speak on his behalf. Mr. Lang Kwok Hong. Thank you, Chairman. About the fairways, Mr. Stephen Ho is also here. So if we change the fairways, we need to consider the impact on marine lives. Chinese white dolphin on this issue, the administration has adopted remedial measure by setting up marine parks and protect, protection zones. When it comes to assisting the um, fishermen and the fishing industry, Definitely, there'll be an impact on on them because it's just not it is not just an impact on the environment, but on uh, people's means of living. The administration, however, uh, suggests that because of the large volume of marine traffic. It would be impractical to allow a certain period of time for fishermen to carry out fishing activities there. The government dishes out billions of dollars in assisting fishermen every year. But what about this problem? Well, fishermen are not allowed to um, fish in the mainland because there is a moratorium. Um, but of course, this is under the uh, portfolio of Mr. Stephen Ho. So first of all, I just don't know what the administration is doing. Second point, when it comes to fairways, in the region, we are building the third runway, which would definitely have an impact on uh, on. Um, Marine navigation, and this matter has not been resolved. Marine accident or marine disaster. Uh, in 2008, a major accident happened with uh, eight casualties. And fortunately, nine years have passed, and we haven't had a major marine accident. Well, of course, there there, there was a major accident. And that is, eventually, the Marine Department apologized for the incident. Now, coming back to this proposal, if we are to establish a new principal fairway, the first problem is whether the um, vessels can really use that fairway. At certain locations, you are asking the vessels to slow down, and as a result, some congestion is being seen. Now, um, the captains of the vessel sometimes don't know what to do, how they should uh, try to avoid each other within the fairway. And the, obviously, the government hasn't done enough consultation on the matter. Some people have asked for relaxation of the speed limit for high speed ferries because. Um, um, some of the vessels are going to Macau and the mainland, and they need to travel at higher speed. When we uh, build infrastructure near Lantau, um, we face a problem of a busy uh, navigation channel. But I don't think the government has uh, thoroughly considered the uh, issue. And uh, Mr. Kwok is otherwise engaged uh, today. He can't be here. So he's asked me to. Uh, reflect uh, the their views on the issues of Chinese white dolphins, uh, on the impact on fishermen, and the impact on those who don't have much say on the matter. Have you heeded their views? 
Now I'm been I have been disqualified as a legislator, so I can't speak on people's behalf anymore. I don't know what uh, Mr. Stephen Ho is thinking. Now I think. The proposal is um, good to some people, but does damage to others. And you are now uh, making compensation to the fishermen. And I don't think this is a kind of uh, right approach adopted. Um, but the government is using spending money to um, try to um, stifle people's voices. First, can I ask uh, Mr. Joey Lam, the DS, to make a response to the views raised by the deputations. Good morning, uh, Chairman, and good morning, deputations. I have listened carefully to your views. Now, establishing the uh, principal fairway, that is based on safety need. You, all, you, um, all of you expressed uh, concern about safety and for this principal fairway in North Lentau from 2011 up to now the traffic is very heavy it has been almost increased by three times and there are different types of vessels using that uh, big vessels high speed boats uh, ferries etc are using that fairway so um, marine safety is our top uh, and utmost concern and you have uh, raised the concern about the impact on fishermen's operations. And we would like to continue our dialogue with you and to see if we can put in any mitigation measures to address your concerns. But I must emphasize that in designing this principal fairway, there is no conspiracy whatsoever behind. We are really genuinely considering the navigational safety in establishing this fairway. And ultimately, we would hope to find some solutions which are acceptable to the fishermen as well. And we can establish this fairway um, to have a smoother traffic on the marine waters and our development can continue to develop. So members, do you have any questions? Mr. Yu Si Wing, who has raised his hand. Uh, five minutes each, please. If you have any questions for the deputations or the government, the five minutes include both the questions and answers. Chairman, I must declare that my company has invested into Shentech China Travel Ship Management Limited, and the um, company has uh, shared their situation with with us. I uh, well, I was um, attending some other meetings just now, so I haven't been um, in this room to listen to fishermen's uh, voices. Maybe later on, I can seek your views again. Now, from the perspective of safety and regulation. I think it's uh, it's just right that we should uh, make the best arrangement for fairways. This is very much an international trend too, and in the process, um, I'm sure that some stakeholders uh, will be affected. And obviously, the fisherman group is one of the sector affected. Uh, Mr. Stephen Ho has submitted a paper. He said that over 1,000 vessels will be affected, and that's a fact. The government is taking a high moral ground in making this decision, and I think it's um, just right and reasonable. But fishermen are indeed facing problems, and the DS also said that she would listen more to their views. I'm sorry that I didn't, I wasn't here to listen to fishermen's uh, views, but going by. Um, some documents. I know that um, Mr. Stephen Ho said that the government has uh, been, but has not been able to uh, provide more alternative options uh, for to help the fishermen. So, if this is uh, indeed what is happening, what kind of suitable alternative options can you propose to 
address the problems um, for you. And I know that uh, $500 million has been set aside for the Sustainable Fisheries Development Fund. Is it the case that you, thought, you think the sum is inadequate? Do you, do you have um, other requests uh, which um, and, and other proposals which can help? fix your problems. Can I ask the fishermen um, deputations to respond? Well, maybe you can um, pinpoint a particular deputation to respond. Well, any any fisherman uh, representative will do, because I was not here in the room. So any fisherman uh, group having an interest to respond, please do so. Anyone from the fishermen's um, representatives? No? Mr. Cheng Xiu Kang, um, do you want to say something? Uh, Mr. Yu would like to, um, Mr. Cheng, to answer the question. What other alternative uh, proposals do you have? What is the appropriate assistance you need so that uh, your um, loss can be compensated properly? Uh, Chairman, alternative options. Um, um, People can use the fairway in um, Lantau South and also Lantau West. Some deputations said that's not feasible, but I think it's really up to the government to deal with the technical difficulties. Are there any other alternative options? Can we uh, consider the matter from a lot more perspectives? And some deputations have also um, um, talked about um, uh, um, Destinating different uh, hours and periods for um, use, can that be considered? Can the government come up with mitigation measures to help the fishermen? Some people are just merely relying on the government for assistance. But the fishermen are not like that. Some people were saying that there has been a fund of billions of dollars earmarked for fishermen. Is there really such a fund? Can you tell us exactly is there such a fund? Because the fishermen have not been benefiting from so -called, this so-called fund. And they, the government should not be helping us just with, say, monetary compensation. Are there any other measures that they can think about? Is this the right, as I said, a right attitude on the part of the government? Should the government communicate with the sector more to propose and put forward better solutions? Isn't the case that the well, I didn't say that the the fishermen do not attach importance to safety. No, not at all. But when safety is given uh, due regard, shouldn't we also be considering the um, real difficulties faced by fishermen, Mr. Zhang? You have um, earlier um, voiced the concerns that you just um, spoke about, right? And on the part of the government, maybe after the members have asked all, all their questions, then I will um, ask you to give a consolidated reply. All right? Sorry. The speaker said, well, I really don't see any specific response from the government. Yes, I, I've already uh, touched on that. Maybe. Many members will share the same or similar questions. Um, I will ask the administration to give a re uh, consolidated reply later on. Mr. Ho Dan Chow. Thank you, Chairman. Many fishermen groups representatives have told us the plight that they are in now. Concerning the proposal to establish a um, new principal fairway that's um, for safety's sake, I think that's all reasonable. But indeed, when this is being done, then you are um, making times difficult for the fishermen groups. And fishermen groups have said many times that 
Uh, they are not just talking about this particular new fairway. There have been the arrangement of the marine park and so on, and the um, the fishing zone has uh, been reduced in size. So how can they survive in the future? Uh, uh, Mr. Stephen Ho will be saying something, uh, I'm sure. But anyway, um, I would like to uh, express my stance here. On the fishermen group's uh, demands, what is the government's response? Now, for safety purpose, you are um, making um, their operations more difficult. But when you do that, what are you giving back to the fishermen? They can't make ends meet anymore. So what kind of compensation are you going to give to them? Well, at least you should allow them to continue to survive in their business. And the fishermen groups of representatives have said that clearly, I mean, their um, livelihood, their businesses, their activities are shrinking as a result. So how can they continue to survive? And I haven't heard the government saying that they will give any compensation or make special arrangements for the fishermen so that they can still make ends meet. So I hope that the government can respond to that. So now hand over the floor back to um, the others now. I'm sure that Mr. Stephen Ho will also ask some questions. And uh, Mr. Stephen Ho, well, it's um, it's my turn to ask first, or do you want the government to respond first? I'm sure that um, the well, actually the members will be raising very similar questions. Maybe we should ask the administration to reply later at one go. So I would like to thank all the deputations and members of the public for giving us views, including those from the fishermen sector and also those from the marine sector. Well, all the practitioners in the, uh, in the marine sector are friends, and you may have different views, but that's all right. That's uh, that's inevitable in in the Hong Kong society. We want to have uh, to work for the overall good uh, for Hong Kong, and no matter where we support the proposal or not, we, we're still friends, right? And we must agree on that point. Now, some members asked whether um, this is there is some conspiracy on the part of the government. They want to stifle the existence of the fishermen. I don't agree to the conspiracy theory, but the actual effect is that there will be far-reaching implications on the fishing sector. And in the past several meetings, we have expressed our worries, and we have uh, floated certain alternative options for the government to consider. And uh, we asked the administration to put forward mitigation measures, but the administration hasn't responded in whatsoever way. And we have held meetings here at the Ledge Call before on that matter, and up to now, there's been no uh, good um, option. And the DS is just saying that um, she will continue to discuss with the fishing sector. I can't accept that. Uh, kind of remark. You're asking for Ross to pass his proposal, and you said that you will con continue to communicate with, with the f fishing sector. That's all you say. I can't accept that. Well, please tell us how are you going to um, sort of um, um, address the problem of over 1,000 vessels being affected. Now, for whatever we do, we face risk. Uh, even eating chicken. Um, we will face risk when we are driving on the road. We will face risk, but the question is whether this is a kind of risk which is acceptable to the Hong Kong society. I've looked through the TDs uh, statistics on land transport accidents. Some two, um, two twenty thousand uh, fatalities and casualties um, um, occurred in 2016. For every one thousand persons, fifty people died. So you, so if you are just adopting high moral grounds, does it mean that people should not be driving on the roads? For the 20,000 or so accidents, uh, 2,700 are driving motorcycles and 1,900 are on um, driving on vehicles. So um, the number doubles on the marine and um, water bodies. So should 
So should we be uh, say issuing guidelines instead to uh, help with the problem? Some deputations have talked about uh, carrying coal to the power plants using vessels. Now, what is the storage of coal in Hong Kong? Um, how many days can can it uh, really support? Now, if you can't, if there are accidents and you're just blocking the fairway for just a couple of days and Hong Kong can still have enough coal, then what he says would cannot stand. We are resorting to different means to address the problem of safety, and we should not be so rigid on really establishing this uh, new principal fairway and banning others to use it in the course of your doing so. You talk about the um, it takes up 0.1 percent of the um, water bodies in Hong Kong. Earlier, I showed um, the government some plans. Well, today you're talking about 0.1 percent. The other day you are 0.8 percent, and then all these percentages add up together will mean say 100 percent. You are putting restrictions on fishing in everywhere in Hong Kong, and the fishermen have little space to do fishing. It's just like how the fishermen are fishing in the Antarctic. It's so unreasonable and illogical. So I hope that um, every sector in Hong Kong should be uh, should have the right to enjoy our economic success, and I hope that the government can come up with better proposals. I understand that Hong Kong um, takes up an important role in the development of the Pearl River Delta, especially in the Hong Kong West. But that's not the single factor that we should have in mind. It's not that we have not given you any proposals, but you are saying that all the proposals are feasible. So please um, give a better answer to the or be more accountable to the fishing sector. Some deputies, deputations uh, don't agree um, that this uh, is a, a group proposal, and then some people that uh, people can still fishing can still do fishing in certain parts and along the fairway and. The, has, and some have said whether you have considered the alternative options proposed by the sector. So the DS, can you respond at one go to all these points? Thank you, Chairman. Alternative uh, proposals. We have seriously considered um, all your proposals one by one. Okay, Hong Kong. It was said that perhaps we can introduce a traffic separation scheme. But then the width is not adequate. Uh, we need a much wider uh, place, a uh, space, before we can have traffic separation, so that uh, there will be two different uh, directions uh, for other vessels, while fishing vessels remain in the uh, middle. Uh, the Marine Department has given serious consideration to the proposal, but then there is this technical difficulty. Um, the depth is not adequate, and we are not able to come up with three different lanes. Earlier on, someone has also said that perhaps we should consider using Southland Tau. However, you need to have both the width as well as the depth. So. Uh, it is not deep enough. It is not deep enough in Southland Town for the vessels to go past. Therefore, the only feasible one will be the one we proposed. There was another uh, suggestion. Perhaps we should restrict um, the speed as well as the timing that the larger vessels will use that place. But then Hong Kong is a port that operates around the clock, even in the small hours. Um, you still have vessels moving. 
So if you put a ban on certain vessels during certain hours of the day, it will affect our economic development because we are running a 24-hour port. It was also said that for the sake of safety, perhaps we should uh, reduce the speed uh, for everybody. But then this will only add to the congestion of the port. And for vessels to slow down suddenly when they reach the point will also compromise our safety. I just want to say that for all the proposals that you have given us, the Marine Department has given them serious consideration one by one. And then probably you want to know um, where we should have more communication. We'll talk to the relevant bureaus and departments. We'll try to find out how um, the impact on the fishermen can be addressed and whether they can go elsewhere to fish. And then for facilities, we hope that we can make it more facilitating for the fishermen. Uh, so that's the direction that we have adopted and will continue to talk to the fishermen. As I have said, um, um, maintaining a dialogue is not going to be empty talk. Uh, we do have certain ideas in mind. Thank you. Mr. Stephen Ho, you want to ask questions again? Um, how much time have we got before the close of meeting? Because when there's time, then I, I want to continue with my questions. Yes, have another go. I'm not happy with the answer given by the DS. You didn't dream up this uh, fair way uh, just to yesterday. I've criticized strongly. If you have certain ideas in mind uh, to work out a solution, then you have to wait for the solution to be sort of found before you come here. Otherwise, what you are trying to do is to ask us to give approval and then um, you will be given time to work out the solution, but I'm afraid you're not going to give us any solution. Otherwise, I, Stephen Ho, will vote against this uh, proposal. It isn't just a matter for your bureau. It's a government-wide uh, approach. Today you talk about Marine Park, tomorrow fairway, and then on another day you talk about a third runway system. It is unacceptable for you to break up the issues. The DAB spokesman for economic development has said that you need to set up a working group on sustainable fishing. If you want fishermen to go to recreational fishing or mariculturists instead of capture fishery, you need to come up with a bright policy. Now, you need to look at the question in another way. If the fishermen have more fishing ground per person, then it will be better. Today you still say that the impact is only up to 0.1%. You haven't got a solution. How can I bring myself to agree with you? So I will certainly vote against you. Uh, today it is about an ex ex uh, 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 exercise to consult uh, members, and we've invited uh, the committee to, to attend this public hearing. If they do not take up our uh, suggestion and come up with a win-win situation. I'm going to vote against it. I think your message is loud and clear. Mr. Ho, I think you're saying that the government's answer is not clear enough. It is not good enough. I can ask the administration to go back to think more carefully and come back with a written reply. If I may just add a brief word. Now, it seems that uh, there is a preconceived idea. That is, we must set up a fairway. Now, we haven't got the fairway, though it may be a bit chaotic. It is still safe. So perhaps uh, you can think outside the box and try to think of other ways to deal with it than insisting on having a fairway. Sorry, speaker is off mic. It is said that Southland Tau is not deep enough. I'm a stakeholder. Don't dismiss our idea just by saying that the water depth is inadequate. Otherwise, others will think that you are right. 
be more specific. Which point in Southland Tao are you saying that the water depth is inadequate? Please do not mislead the LegCo members. Please do not dismiss our proposal. Deputy Secretary, regarding the water depth as well as the width of the uh, uh, fairway, please elaborate. Yes, uh, I can invite um, the Deputy Director of Marine to supplement. Thank you, Chair. For Southland Tao, I think uh, we are talking about the waters of Fan Lao. I think it is just 14, 15 meters deep. Uh, perhaps the Hong Kong Pilots Association Limited can supplement. We haven't got the maps with us. Uh, where exactly in North Nan Tao are you referring to? Thank you, Chair. Roughly speaking, uh, the waters outside Fan Lao. I think that's what Mr. Cheung uh, was referring to. I think the uh, the waters of Fan Lao. Just one point, not just one point. Uh, even for, um, in the vicinity, the water depth is inadequate. Well. I haven't got concrete information with me. It will be difficult for me to tell who's in the right, who's in the wrong. Maybe either side has got its justification. Now the question was the water depth as well as the width. Uh, an answer has been given. I will request that the government come up with more information for us. It is quite difficult to deal with it on the spot. So give us more information. Let's take a look of the width. Let's take a look of the water depth, and then we can deal with it. All right. Holden Chow. Thank you, Chair. I want to pick up the point made by Stephen Ho. Indeed, it is a question of the cumulative impacts. When you look at our history. We need to develop our economy. We need to third runway system, um, and we have to do this to maintain our status as a shipping center. However, we must appreciate the impact on the livelihood of the fishermen. Well, I have learned a lot from Stephen Ho. I think for the impacts of such projects on the fishermen. Um, my understanding is that um, that has not been addressed and no compensation has been given. And it has been pointed out by the deputations who are getting more and more marine parks and reserves. So they are being squeezed out. Now I'll come back to my specific proposal. Our deputy spokesman from DB, Mr. Xiu, has already made his point. Perhaps we should have a working group pitched at a senior level so that once and for all we can look at all the cumulative impacts of the different projects. So we need a coordinating working group and we should tackle the issue once and for all. Now, today we talk about the fairway. You say that the impact is minimal, so there won't be any uh, help. Tomorrow there will be the setting up of the marine park. But then the cumulative uh, consequence would be that they will be switched out altogether. I'm, of course, a layman to the fishing industry. But then the fishermen have to support their families. You need to make sure that they can have a sustainable industry. You have to make sure that they can feed their families. So why don't you set up a working group to coordinate the efforts? And then for a period of time, we have had so many projects, so many initiatives. Why don't you collect the information and take a holistic view? Otherwise, if you try to erode uh, the capacity here and there, then they will lose everything. As Stephen Ho has said, perhaps we should introduce um, uh, a system 
that will give us flexibility so that fishing won't be banned throughout the day and it will be allowed during certain hours in the uh, in the day. So please consider the proposals. What is important is that if you have the will, then you really have to set up a working group so that we can take a holistic view and then we can address the problems because currently fishermen are losing their fishing grounds. They have nowhere to go to do their um, job. For the deputations and individuals who have come today, they have told us what they think. Now we have people representing the shipping company. They, we have someone representing the pilots, and they're concerned about navigational safety. And for the fishermen, they will be forced to change their habits, and they will be forced to go elsewhere to look for fishing grounds. And I think their livelihood will be affected. Some have also suggested some possible solutions. I think the administration must take them seriously, and you need to sort out the problem. Questions have been raised by members as well as the deputations, but I don't think we're happy with the replies that you have given. They are not perfect. Let's not talk about perfect answers. At least you haven't given us a detailed answer. So please do so in writing. Um, our meetings are all uh, public meetings, and we we know uh, what has been said. I think all the points have been clearly expressed. So for this item, I think we can draw a line, and I am grateful to the uh, attendance of the various deputations and individuals. Thank you for coming. You may be excused. Thank you once again for your attendance. And on this note, we end this item. I'm grateful to the public officers who have uh, attended the meeting. And please give us a reply in relation to the points raised today. Thank you. Next, I would like to thank members for your attendance today. This is also the last meeting of the current session. Anything under AOB? Anything under AOB? No? I don't have any, so I declare the meeting adjourned.